mean by that is an uncle or a father or a mother or an aunt or a sister or somebody who's an entrepreneur who can say and help you um, not necessarily start the business, but, but, but all the things that you have to do to, to create and run a company. Mm -hmm. Um, And I talk about in the book, I talk about the, and these are a lot of this is personal for me and my experiences. I, I, my father was not a, was not an entrepreneur and he couldn't help me. Um, you know, through all the decision making and, and, uh, but, but furthermore, being an entrepreneur is a, is a, is a, is a, is a big responsibility. And there's a really great caption on the beginning of the book that talks about being an entrepreneur. I can't quote it for you because it's too long. Um, but it's really, really nails down what an entrepreneur is. And, and I, you know, I talk about, you know, as I was single when I, when I started my company Mm -hmm. and, you know, I got married. Um, but like most people get married and they have a family, you know, as an entrepreneur, I'm, I'm focused on my company and I never sat my girlfriend down or my fiance down and said, look, you're marrying an entrepreneur. You know, I'm marrying a guy that goes to work eight to five, you know, comes home and doesn't worry about his job or, you know, um, doesn't travel. I mean, I, I, I'm an entrepreneur. I, I, and I, and I, that's what I do. I have a company. I'm going to run it. I have to focus on it. I have, and so there's a lot of responsibility to that. And, and, you know, as long as your spouse understands that and is willing to go on that ride with you, great. Um, but these are the things that, you know, I didn't do. And these are the, the kinds of things that I talk about in the book um, that people don't think about. Yeah. Um, and, you know, all the way to talk, you know, I talk about relationships with vendors, um, the way that I, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, into partnerships with my vendors and my suppliers. And, uh, you know, I'm, and so there's a lot in the book about how I, how I feel and the way I run a comp- my company and I, you know, it's a good book to read. If you, if you want to be an entrepreneur or you are a young entrepreneur um, and you don't have somebody to go to and say, you know, Hey, I gotta, I gotta get product liability insurance. How do I do that? Or what do I do? Or what am I looking for? Or I gotta, you know, I'm going to go out. Do I buy vehicles? Do I lease vehicles? You know, these are things that, you know, um, it's nice to have somebody to go ask and get it, you know, an answer. Mm-hmm. You no, know, I, I asked my uncle one time, how do I know to, when to buy a new forklift? Well, when's, well, you know, and, and he said, well, you know, what, what, what I do, he, he was a consultant. He said, what I do is I look at the annual cost of maintenance on that forklift. When it gets too high, I get rid of it. I get a new one. Yeah. Those are the, you know, those are just kind of, you know, questions that you can figure that out on your own, um, which may be costly, uh, or you can just, you know, you have a mentor that helps you. And so I, I wrote that book and, and, and my hopes is to help young entrepreneurs um, and make it a little easier for them yeah. and give them a little bit of guidance. It, the book's not about success um, or you know, um, why you should or shouldn't, it's about helping you, uh, start and run a company. Yeah. Sounds like a great tool. I actually, I, I ordered mine on Amazon today and look forward to digging into it and, and, uh, getting some extra wisdom. Like you, my dad wasn't an entrepreneur. He was a very hard worker, but wasn't necessarily an entrepreneur. So I, a lot of the things I had to figure out on my own as well. So, Mark, you've given uh, more of your time than expected, and I really appreciate hearing your story and what you've done with Bull Barbecue. Um, your products look amazing. Your book sounds fascinating and a great tool. Um, so thank you for all of that. I, I just uh, appreciate you being on the show today. Well, thanks for having me. I love I love um, talking about uh, business and 
and entrepreneurship. And, and Jim, I really appreciate uh, you um, having me on here and let me talk, let me uh, run my mouth because I could talk all day about it. So, um, you know, thank you. Well, that's okay. Uh, it's only uh, 8 a.m. my time, but I can't wait to go in the backyard and, and grill something up after looking at your site and everything. And then I'm also embarrassed that I don't have one of your great products. Well, you will. We'll, we'll, we'll set you up. No problem. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Mark. Thank you for listening to today's show. It is my pleasure and honor to interview all of the guests that have been on the Answer is Yes podcast. If you have enjoyed the show, please go on iTunes and subscribe, give a rating, or simply tell a friend about the show. We also believe in the message of our guests and the positive influence of their stories. As my own mentor and coach, David Meltzer, has taught me, Spend some time every day thinking and writing about the things in your own life that you have more than enough of. You will find out how blessed we really are. Please visit my website, livelifedriven.com, for the latest updates about me and what I'm doing. Plus, I post a monthly blog about the many topics on this show. This podcast can also be found there. As I learned early on in life, what you believe is what you will achieve. Thanks, Mark Victor Hansen, and thank you, and have a great week.